Hello guys, welcome back to another L.A. Noir walkthrough. This is K-17 part 1. Uh, this is going to be where we left off from the story. And uh, this is the going to be for the arson case. And sorry about that guys, I couldn't post any videos lately because that was a busy week for me. So guys, I hope you enjoy. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Alright guys, so uh, we are about to go investigate the Stefan's house fire or the Sawyer house fire. Uh, so, uh, first we are going to go to, I believe, the Stefan's house fire first, and then we'll do some other crap, and then we'll investigate the Sawyer house fire. So, let's get out of this building and go to the Stefan's house fire first. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? How long have you been working, Arson? We can do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? Or look somewhere else. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in her face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. 
when they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Where it is, they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. I'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. All right, so first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go interview Mr. Steffens, who is just right over there. Mr. Steffens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Steffens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. All right, this is the competition ticket. We'll need to speak to the issue. Just a clue. Now, you see it says Gulliver's Travel Agency. We're going to have to go investigate there later. And now for our first question for Don Steffens is travel competition. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Steffens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. All right, seems legit, so I'll just take his word for it and go with truth. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. This lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. All right, our last question from Mr. Steffens is suburban redevelopment. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Now as you can see that he folded his arms and tucking his back lip a little bit. So we're going to have to go with doubt here. Everyone else is selling. But you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now, my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Steffens. All right. So on the opposite side of the house where you interview Mr. Don Steffens, uh, you will find an insta heater just uh, right here, just laying around. And if you open it up, you'll get another clue. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. He's the dirty cop from the newspaper. Alright guys, so that is it for the Stefan's house fire here. Uh, we're just going to have to go across the sidewalk here to uh, get over to the game well and get some information. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Read about the trial set? I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. Everything like that. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. Do you have an address for them? There is one listed here. Corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks, ma'am. Alright, so now that we got some more information, uh, now we can go on to our next location, which is going to be Gulliver's Travel Agency. So let's go headed there and uh, see what we can find out.
Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? What can you tell us about the travel tickets that you issued to the Stephens family? Stephens, uh, let me see, family of five, I think. Uh, trip by flying boat to Catalina Island. Tickets were issued last week and redeemed this weekend. All right, so if we look at the ledger right here, the third one, you can see yeah. Stephens right here. And then if you go down a couple few names, you get Sawyer. The Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. All right, so now some questions. Uh, the first question will be about the Suburban Redevelopment. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of L.A. All right, everything seems legit, so I'm just going to go with truth. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. All right, our final question for him is about the promotional travel contest. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. All right, that didn't seem too convincing, obviously, so we're just going to have to go with doubt since we don't have any evidence. While the Stephens family was at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize they won? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. All right, now that Cunningham's out of the way, we can go on to our next location, and that will be the suburban redevelopment. I can barely say that word now. Uh, all right, let's go. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address? Great partners must think alike. Or... This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. All right, I don't know what he meant by Mac. That weird guy, you know, he kept calling me Mac, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, if you go here, you can see a desk right here that says Leland Monroe, and on the desk there is a little memo here. And if we pick it up, you can see that this is what it's all about. So Elysian Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. So basically that's what Elysian Fields do. Okay, so uh, now that we're done, we're about to go to the Sawyer House fire in the next part. So guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on part two. Goodbye.